Welcome to Science 101 today, and today we are talking about water, which, if you didn't know, makes up 80% of the human body. It keeps everything lubricated and moving. This way here you can run, jog, and work, and do whatever you have to do, play basketball, and you're good to go. It's kind of like when you take your car down for an oil change and a grease job, and afterwards it kind of floats down the road like an old Cadillac, just kind of just floats right down through there because it's all nice and greased up. Now, <clears throat> is, is also, it's uh, the most vital for all known forms of life that is out there. Uh, water is the most important thing. Um, so today we're going to start this series off uh, emergency preparedness on water. All right? Now you can get water in all types of varieties. You can get a gallon, you can buy it by a big pack. Um, you know, I get a 40 pack of the small bottles for $3.98 at Walmart. You can get a gallon of water for 78 cents. You know, as long as you got some place to store it in your house, do not store it in your garage, especially if you live in a hurricane prone area because it is just way too hot and it's not good to store that out there. I don't store any water, food products, anything in my garage because I live in a warm climate and um, it doesn't fare well. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to get started. Um, I did make a list and because uh, I went on Amazon and I wanted to make sure that uh, some of the products and stuff that I talk about um, first I wanted to know if it was available second I wanted to know uh, how much water it will filter and prices now if you do run out of water um, the government and most of your local governments all tell you to have a three-day supply um, do not go buy the three-day supply um, the last time that we were out of water because uh, when a hurricane hits sometimes the first thing they cut is your power and your water um, it's the first two things that usually go. So they turn the water off and you got to make sure that you got some way to have water. If you do not have enough supply, then you may have to make sure that you know uh, where a local stream, river, uh, lake, or some place that you can go get water and filter it so that it does not make you sick because of all the bacteria and everything that's in water. So we're going to talk about that real quick. <clears throat> all right. You can pick up what you call the life straw. It's just a straw, filters out about a thousand gallons and it costs you about 20 bucks. Okay, when you're done with it, you just throw it away um, after the, about a thousand gallons. Now somehow or another, you gotta figure out what a thousand gallons is. Um, the Sawyer Mini, uh, which is this right here. Okay, I like the Sawyer Mini. I have used it quite a few times and I do like these. Uh, they're gonna cost you about 20 bucks. They filter out up to 100,000 gallons. Um, that's because you can backwash the filter system and keep it clean. And um, this way here, you know, you get a lot of use out of this. And for $20, in my opinion, this is the best product on the market. Now, the only drawback to this is it does come with this little pouch. It is only a 16 ounce pouch. So you're gonna wanna get something that's a little bit bigger in case that you do have to walk someplace to get your water because after a hurricane, more than likely, um, the trees and roads and stuff will be blocked, so you may have to walk. So you might, you might want to make sure that you have a small backpack or something. If you get a pouch like this, you can clip it on there and you're good to go. Now, <clears throat> they make this, um, uh, their water purification tablets. Come in these two little jars, all right? They'll filter out about 25 gallons of water. And uh, what you do is you just drop them into the water and uh, you wait about 35 40 minutes and it kills off all the the bacteria and everything in the water only thing it doesn't do is filter the water for you so in that sense you're going to want to have something that you can um, filter the water with and i did a video on this and where you could use a coffee filter so if you have a container like this you put your coffee filter in a cone one would be perfect you hold it over here you fill this up and if you say you have a jug of water like this you can take and pour this after you filter it you pour this in here and if you fill this up you can take and drop in your two water tablets and then this water will be purified you can also if it's stainless steel you can always uh, heat it over a fire and kill all the bacteria that way there also is just another opportunity for you to get water in an emergency situation um, <clears throat> Another thing that they do have out, which is uh, kind of really cool, I think, 
uh, it's made by Pure Well Water. It's a purification pump. Now it has an intake and an outtake. So you put the one the, in, the intake into the water. It already has a filter system built into it. You pump it through. It goes through the system and comes out the other side in the hose. And you just have to have something to put the water in, and it just cleaned everything, and you're good to go. That one there, uh, it'll it's gonna set you back about 56 bucks. It'll filter out about 800 gallons, and the replacement filters are like 15 dollars. Um, now, if you really wanted to really push it and um, go all out, you can get the Berkeley uh, Gravity Fed Water System. Uh, that is the top of the line. Um, that's the Cadillac of the purification systems. Um, they start off at a 1.5 gallon. It's a stainless steel type container, and um, it comes with uh, two filters that go down in it. You fill the water from the top down. It filters through. It's got a little spout at the bottom, and you get your water out. That's going to set you back. The beginning price on that for the 1.5 gallon is $270. Uh, replacement filters are 70 bucks a piece, so it's $140, and it'll filter out about 6,000 gallons of water. Now. You can buy water bricks. There are plastic containers. All right, you get those plastic containers. Boom! You fill those up, and they they stack. They're called water bricks. They look like, just like a brick. Um, I went to Walmart uh, when I first moved down here. I bought a couple of the jerry cans. They're plastic. They're on a top shelf. If you go look, uh, most of them are all blue. Um, they're like uh, 12 bucks or seven gallons. I have two of those. I fill them up at the beginning of hurricane season. Put them in a the spare room and forget about them. So I've got 14 gallons of water right there. Um, another quick thing I want to talk to you about real quick is a camp shower. Now you're asking me why are you talking about a camp shower? Well, for one, if you've been a week without a shower, you're going to need a shower. For two, all right, these are five gallon and the solar does all the work for you. So Mr. Sunshine is out there and he heats this water up to 120 degrees in about three and a half hours. So you would have water to take a shower because you could take this from outside uh, you just have to hang it up somewhere so it's in the direct sun. And if you've never been through a hurricane, after a hurricane, boom, the weather is like gorgeous. It is just beautiful outside. So it's going to heat up really quick for you. You just got to make sure you can hang it up. If your trees and stuff are gone, you're going to have to figure something out to get it, you know, up off the ground so it'll heat up. Hang it up in your shower. Take a hot shower. You got hot water that you can uh, cook and clean with and everything else. And um, you know that just solves that problem right there because uh, you may not have a way to heat up your water. Um, and we'll cover that on another video, but water is the main thing that you got to have in the very beginning to make sure that you have the adequate supply that you need. Um, don't go by what the, the government says. Like I said, you know, they tell you to have a uh, three day supply. Um, don't do it. It's not a good idea. You want to make sure you got a week supply of water and food. Um, do not listen to what they say because it could be four or five days or longer. Uh, without power or water and you want to make sure that you have enough so you don't have to try to figure out how to use one of these and where to go. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. This has been the first video in emergency preparedness and on water. I thank you for watching and until next time I'll catch you all on the flip side.